Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Babe and Library. Um, this again is Lisa and today I'm coming to you with a new tag on the YouTube block. Um, this is the This or That Romance Edition tag and this was started by Caitlin over at The Love Librarian. Um, if you haven't seen Caitlin's video, I'm going to go ahead and place it into the description below. Um, I also would recommend that you go ahead and subscribe to her channel. She just reached a thousand members on YouTube or subscribers on YouTube. So congratulations, Caitlin. Um, as I was watching your video, I saw that you said um, you would allow other people to do this tag, even though um, this was originally started for you and your friends. But thank you so very much for opening it up to the public. So I'll go ahead and try my hand at it. Um, as you all know, I am um, all over the board with the type of books that I read, but I am primarily a romance reader. Um, I don't like to categorize myself in one genre, but if I were to say I have a genre, romance is definitely it. So uh, the first question is cliffhangers or HEA, right? HEA being happily ever afters. Um, honestly, I'm a sucker for happily ever after, maybe even a happy for now, but happy happily ever after or HEA is pretty much my jam. Um, I will be okay with cliffhangers if I pick it up very soon. So... HEA for sure. Uh, the next question is hardback or or hardcover or paperback. Um, so I don't necessarily have a preference. Um, aesthetically, hard covers look amazing on your bookshelves. I know a lot of people like paperbacks because they're easier on your hands. Um, honestly, for me, I would purchase a hardback with exception of, again, they're very costly. Um, so usually I'm getting them secondhand, but if I have a hardcover and I don't feel like picking up the book physically, I'll go to my library and see if there's an electronic copy I can pick up or an audiobook. So I'm definitely a hardcover girl, but a lot of romance comes in paperback, so I'll take either or. I'm not picky. Um, angsty or cutesy? Honestly, I, I need the angst. Give me all of the angst in a romance. Make me work for it. Make the characters work for it. So angsty all the way. Um, but I wouldn't turn my nose at a cutesy book. Do I prefer a series or standalones? Um, honestly, I prefer series, right? Um, the series can have multiple couples. Um, so it doesn't have to be the same couple back to back or... Um, I can have it where we get the same couple's book over a course or over a course of time. Um, again, I know that kind of goes back to that cliffhanger um, comment, but I don't necessarily need a cliffhanger if I can wrap it up in that one series and then maybe I see the next journey um, in their relationship. That works for me, but I'm definitely a series girl. Um, book talk or bookstagram? I am partial to bookstagram. I'm not on book talk. Um, it's, I can't even basically get to reels. Uh, YouTube is my first foray. So I'm going to go with bookstagram. You have much more of a community style engagement. Um, I know that in terms of really being able to soak in and take in the content, I like um, the versatility of Bookstagram. Um, so Bookstagram all the way for me. People or objects on the cover. So I am partial to people on the cover. I have absolutely no concerns with, you know, a shirtless man being on my cover and being out in public. I do know a lot of people these days are looking for your discreet covers. Uh, but there's something about a gorgeous man or a gorgeous woman on a cover that really just, you know, entices me. And I do like to see, um, I'm not necessarily an imaginative person and I can create, um, you know, images of people from the description in the books all the time. So having someone to kind of place as an image on the cover to help me see what that person looks like in the storyline helps me all the way. Um, new release or backlist. So I am personally, I read a lot of new releases, right? It's the thing that I consume the most. Uh, but I do want to make sure that I can jump back into backlist. So if I find an author that I absolutely adore, I'm going to try to soak up as many books as I possibly can for that. I did that with Talia Hibbert after I read the Brown sisters. I just had to know what else she's written in her backlist. 
Um, right now, I am on the Tessa Bailey train, and she's got quite a bit of backlist for me to do. Um, if you watched my last video, um, you can see that I'm going to start my hand at looking at Lisa Kleypas. Um, so being able to scrounge through her backlist, I'll be there for days and decades, so don't worry about it. But um, new releases is typically what I read, and then if I really get into someone's writing or someone's uh, stories, then I'll go back and read the backlist. Do I prefer a TBR or a free-for-all? I am truly a mood reader. Um, I'm going to do a video or at least my attempt at a video for a monthly wrap-up and a monthly TBR, but I'm moody, right? I'm a cancer. Um, as you all saw in my uh, last video, I've been talking about it all month because it is July and it's cancer season, but I'm a mood reader. Um, I, I really hate the idea of having a TBR and sticking to that TBR because it's going to lessen my chance of really wanting to pick that up, whatever mood I'm in, I'm going to follow that and hopefully circle back. So in August, um, I really have to try my hand at uh, sticking to a TBR that I set because I pretty much double booked myself for about three different book clubs uh, or actually books for book clubs. So you'll see that I'm going to have to stick to my guns next month and read certain books. But along the way, I'm probably going to pick up one that wasn't on, on uh, my docket. So open door or fade to black? I am an open door girl. I'm going to bust the door wide open. I want to see everything. I want to read everything. Don't leave anything to my imagination. Give me the goods. Um, Fade to Black is something that I, I can read. Um, it has to be done. I have to really be in love with the characters in order for me not to be bothered by it. And Open Door Policy is what I prefer. Uh, do I prefer audiobooks or ebooks and paperback? Um, so it wasn't until this year that I really started to gravitate towards audiobooks, but I don't read romance in audiobook format, so I'm going to have to go with ebook or paperback. My audiobooks are usually reserved for nonfiction, maybe fantasy, depending on if it's a chunk or not. But from a romance perspective, it's definitely ebook or paperback all the way. Kindle or nah? Definitely Kindle, right? I love my Kindle. Um, I have Kindle Unlimited. I recently got it this year as well, and I'm flying through books in that. So I'm going to have to go with Kindle um, or Kindle apps, right? I have an Apple um, or iPad that I read um, a lot of my books on there. So I'm definitely a Kindle reader, a Kindle stand. Do I prefer matte or glossy? Um, I prefer matte, um, but I'm not going to turn away a glossy cover if it's a book that I absolutely adore or it's more fiscally responsible in terms of um, they had multiple editions. So matte is my preference, but um, I do have some glossy covers and they work just fine. Um, buddy read or fly solo. Um, so I really haven't had to do a buddy read, so I honestly can't tell you. Majority of my friends, I'm giving them books that I've already read or for recommendations. Um, I'm just starting to join into book clubs, so I'll be able to tell you a little bit more of my preference there. So, um, due to lack of experience, I'm going to have to say fly solo. Um, small time romance or dark romance. If you saw my video from earlier this month, you know dark romance is what I'm going to go with, right? Dark romance, taboo romance. Um, small town romance isn't really my thing, um, but I am trying my hand at that again um, with a couple of books this, this month and next month. But I'm pretty sure uh, reading some of them is not really going to change my mind, so dark romance for sure. Um, if you have any recommendations, please put them in the chat. I would love to hear any romance, uh, dark romance recommendations from you all. Um, new or adult or adult. Um, I'm going to go with adult. I haven't been in college for quite some time, and it's hard for me to uh, deal with the maturity level of some of the new adult content. Right. It, I'm, I'm a little bit more removed from that than I'm, I was maybe, you know, five or six years ago when I was reading New Year Adult. Now, don't that doesn't mean that I'm not going to re, I'm not going to pick it up. 
there are a lot of times where authors are going to craft it really well. Um, actually, I just read a book this uh, this weekend um, that was a new adult romance and it was handled effortlessly. I'll put that up on the screen. Um, and it's a male male romance. We really don't typically get a lot of that in a college setting. So I was glad to pick that up. <clears throat> Do I sprint read or marathon read a series? I'm going to tell you right now, I had to watch about five book, five of these videos for me to even understand what the difference was between the sprint and the marathoning. Um, I am a marathon read a series. Usually I'm coming into the game really late, so all of the series are out. Um, but I take my time, right? Again, being a mood reader, I may pick something up and absolutely adore it, but I'm ready to move on to the next thing that the library has given me. Or I'm going through my checklist and there was other things that I needed to get to, but I'm going to circle back. So I am typically a marathon reader, but there are times where I I have a, a I'm on a kick and I need to, to feel... Um, my void and I need to just go ahead and sprint it but typically it's a marathon do I read multiple books or one at a time I read multiple books at one time usually I'm gonna you know gravitate to one more than the other depending on the format so if I'm in the car I'm reading an audiobook and then maybe I have a physical book at home that I can get to later on at night because I'm tired of looking at the screen so multiple books for sure and usually they're pretty, uh, pretty different because if I have, you know, if I can't binge and read all mafia romances at one time, it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to keep my storyline straight. So I may try a dark and taboo and a rom-com, something that's completely separate from one another so I can keep, you know, my storyline straight, but definitely multiple books at one time. Do I prefer an alpha hero or a cinnamon roll? <clears throat> Well, I'm going to go with Alpha Hero. Um, it, I haven't read a ton of Cinnamon Roll Heroes, or at least I didn't categorize them as that. I do know that there's, you know, Golden Retriever main characters and Cinnamon Roll Heroes that, you know, are loving and doting. But um, I'm primarily gravitated to Alpha Heroes or Alpha Holes. So, um, you know, I probably, again, should talk to my therapist about that. But between me and you, an Alpha Hero is definitely my choice. Do I prefer a baddie or a damsel in distress? Baddie. Give me a baddie. Give me someone that I can... I, we are matching energies. Um, sis doesn't need nobody else, but she wants you, so you're going to be hers. If we, we thugging it out together, you're fighting, I'm fighting we down for one another. Give me a baddie, um, and you all can keep the damsel in distress. That's not for me. And lastly, do I like a slow burner if the love? Give me, again, make me work for it. I love a slow burn. Maybe not necessarily Mariana Sabata slow burn. I haven't read it yet because that's 700 pages just for me to get to a kiss. Not that slow. That's like a, a simmer. I, I need, you know, medium, um, you know, realistic approach at love. Do not meet me on the streets. And then tomorrow you're proposing to me because I'm going to, I'm pretty much going to be scared away from that. So I don't really like insta love. It's hard for me to grapple with, hard for me to believe, hard for me to get to that happily ever after. So slow burn all the way. Again, that was the This or That Romance Edition. If you happen to have any dark romance recommendations, please drop them in the description. If you happen to have, um, I'd say cinnamon roll recommendations that you really adore. You think it will, will get me away from the alpha hole. Please recommend those as well because I'm interested to, you know, gobble up a few more of them. If you haven't watched my last video, please do so. And I look forward to being with you guys in the next one. Bye.